WSLS. This is 10 News at Noon, working for you. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patrick McKee. We begin at noon with breaking news. After a nearly 40 year absence, Amtrak returns to the Star City. This morning, a train left the Kemper Street Station in Lynchburg, heading for the new platform in downtown Roanoke. We've got a crew to board that train, which is getting ready to arrive in Roanoke now. 10 News reporter Aaron Brookshire is live there this afternoon. Aaron, this is a big day for the Star City. I'm sure there's a lot of excitement there. Patrick, yes, it definitely is. The train is just set to arrive here. We heard the whistle blow a little bit further up. It should be here any second now. So a lot of people here along the platform waiting for the first train into the Star City out of Lynchburg. It left earlier this morning, as you mentioned. Now a lot of city and state leaders, including the governor, as well as Roanoke Senator John Edwards and other members of Roanoke City Council are all expected to be a part of today's event. So any minute now, this train should be pulling up and in less than 20 minutes, a ribbon cutting ceremony will Will take place before three coach cars and a cafe car will all be on display to the public later this afternoon. Now this comes after months of construction as tomorrow marks the official start of the passenger rail service here in Roanoke. Now the Northeast Regional train will take off from Roanoke leaving after 615 every weekday morning and on the weekends the trains will take off from this station at 840 in the morning. Passengers will all be able to travel from Roanoke through Charlottesville into Washington DC, New York and Boston as well as other other major cities all along the East Coast, Patrick. And Aaron, we're still waiting on that train to uh, ar arrive into the Star City. This has been a, a pro project that's been underway for years uh, after an absence of nearly four decades in the Star City. A lot of people have been working on this for a long time. Yeah, definitely a huge project. I'm going to step out of the way so you can actually get a better look at the platform. So this is where passengers will be getting on the train starting tomorrow morning. As I mentioned, those will be taking off here out of Roanoke just after 615 every day, weekday morning. It'll actually be around 619 AM. The very first one leaving out of Roanoke tomorrow morning. This is something a lot of people have been excited for. We've seen a lot of people buying tickets, getting ready for this inaugural trip out of Roanoke. So definitely a big deal here in the Star City, Patrick. And that rail service was expanded into Lynchburg in 2009 with the goal of having it expanded into Roanoke. 2013 is when the announcement was made to have that passenger service come into the Star City and that's just how long the work's been going on since 2013 to get everything ready. They've had to do numerous construction projects, Aaron, to, to make sure that streets were able to support the trains and also to build that brand new platform, which looks quite nice. Yeah, it does look really nice. Also, another thing people have been asking about is parking. There are several parking garages nearby here in the area where people will be able to park when they do take these um, passenger rail trains. All of those parking garages, especially the one over on Jefferson Street, are designated for this. Another people, thing that people have been asking about is the New River Valley. Now, while the Amtrak does not connect all the way to the New River Valley, there will be buses set up every day, two buses to and from the New River Valley here to this train station, so definitely an easy way for people throughout the New River Valley as well to get here to be a part of these um, trains that will be leaving out of Roanoke daily, Patrick. And of course, Aaron, there's also been the talk in that movement to try to get another of those stops added in Bedford. But right now, the train will make stops in Lynchburg, Charlottesville, Culpeper, Manassas, Burke Center, Alexandria, and then Washington, D.C. before then continuing up into the northeast corridor to Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. So this certainly opening up the Northeast to folks here in the Star City and Southwest Virginia to be able to travel to more and more places now by rail. Yeah, it absolutely does. And as we mentioned, the early morning trains will be leaving out of Roanoke as they are coming back into Roanoke. Those will be later in the evening because this will be the last stop along that northeastern route. So definitely a lot to think about some good opportunities for people, even for quick weekend trips, a quick weekend up to Washington, D.C., New York City, Boston, a lot of options. And do want to turn around because the train is coming around the corner right now. You're taking a look at it as that Amtrak train pulls up here to the Roanoke station. Now, this is the train, as we've told you that left out of Lynchburg a little bit earlier this morning, the first train to come into Roanoke right now. And seeing that very first train that is now pulling into the brand new station in downtown Roanoke that's been years in the making after a 38 year absence from the Star City Amtrak is coming back. This is the ceremonial first train, the first passenger trains coming is going out tomorrow morning. 
just after 6 a.m. Aaron Brookshire is going to be there live tomorrow morning uh, as, as that train uh, departs from the station. But Aaron, I'm certain, I'm sure there is a lot of excitement now seeing that train that is pulling that up to that platform for the very first time. There definitely is a lot of excitement. You can hear people clapping. You can hear people screaming, yelling. Everybody is here. You can see people up in the bridge as well that connects from downtown Roanoke over to the Hotel Roanoke, all looking to get a first glimpse as this train pulls into town. A lot of excitement here. Now, as we've mentioned, that ribbon cutting will be taking place at around 1220 today. Then later this afternoon, starting at about 130 until 3 o'clock, I believe, people will be able to get on these passenger trains, three passenger trains and one cafe. Bay train will all be open to public tours this afternoon as well. All right, we've got a crew on that train that has ridden that in from Lynchburg this morning. We're going to be hearing from them coming up later today on 10 News starting at 5 o'clock. But there it is, the very first Amtrak train into the Star City in 40 years. You can see the people on the platform there waving uh, on the back of the train and we are going to go back down to downtown Roanoke for that ribbon cutting ceremony coming up about 15 minutes from now. Aaron Brookshire live for us in downtown Roanoke. Uh, Aaron, thank you so very much. And of course, more on this ribbon cutting in a few minutes. Uh, you also can check WSLS.com for updates throughout the day and the very latest at 5 p.m.